Hi guys, this is Chandrajit from AndroidHardware.com. Uh, in our previous video, we had showed that about the Wi-Fi Direct issue between Samsung devices and Samsung non-Samsung devices. So we have the Nexus 4 and Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 in front of us. So we'll try to use Superbeam to transfer files from one device to another. So let's see how that works. We have Superbeam installed in both these devices. So turning on the device. Let's go to gallery. Okay, I had already opened up this video. So let's use Super Beam. Here you can see Super Beam. Okay, enabling Wi Fi Direct, generating barcode. So, ready to Super Beam scan the QR code using Super Beam scanner on the other device. So let's turn on the Nexus 4. I'll open the Super Beam scanner. Okay, it has scanned it and it was pretty fast. So it's saying waiting for connection. Okay, now this is something. Okay, now yes, now both these devices have taken up the speed. And as you can see, we are transferring a 64.7 MB video this time, and it's being transferred at 21. Point, uh, around 20 Mbps speed, so which is very fast indeed, and it's going to be transferred in around 15 seconds. So la last time we used Super Beam scanner using the Wi-Fi um, uh, wi network, it was indeed very slow, and now we can see it depended upon the speed of the router. Now we are using Wi-Fi Direct, and the 64.7 MB video has been transferred in approximately 20 seconds so I should say that was pretty fast Wi-Fi Direct did work uh, between both the Samsung and the Nexus devices and so that's how you can use Superbeam to transfer files between Samsung and non-Samsung devices so that's a good app